This is a 2011 Honda ZRZ. And the first thing to do is to disconnect the terminals. Everything can be done with a 10 millimeter wrench. Make sure that the terminals are not making contact with each other or any surrounding metal. If the battery is dead, which is my case, I am not worrying about it. Then I remove the battery hold down bracket, just like so. Now I can remove the old battery and I can compare it with the brand new. As you can see, the 51R is bigger and it will give me more cold cranking apps once it's installed. This is the old tray. This is smaller in size and needs to be trimmed on this side. That can be possible with a utility knife. Now I can remove the negative cable from the frame of the vehicle to upgrade the terminal. I cut this cable and strip it down to attach it to this brand new terminal which is a 0.69 inches in diameter to fit the post of the battery. Okay. Now I can clean the positive terminal and get rid of the pre-existent corrosion. Now I can use this treatment to avoid any future corrosion on the terminals. Wipe off the excess and reinstall the tray, just like so. Now I can reinstall the negative cable with the 10 millimeter ratchet and make the pull test to make sure everything is attached and secure. Make sure the positive sign is always on the red terminal and after that you can reinstall the battery hold down bracket with the arrow pointing to the front of the vehicle and then you can reattach the positive terminal back. At this point you need to get your key FLB just to disarm the car after you reconnect the negative terminal otherwise you're gonna be scared until next week. In this case I didn't need that now I can tighten down the terminals and make sure they are securely tight. Now I can replace the plastic covers, one on the positive and the clear one on the negative terminal. It's a see-through and it will protect the terminal from future corrosion and any other contaminants that get into the engine bay. Now you can test the battery by starting up the vehicle and if you have codes stored in the ECU of the vehicle due to a bad battery you can erase them now with an OVD2 scanner. Stay tuned for more.